Hey, thanks for tuning in to the show. This video is from our live show exclusive on odds.com. If you want to see the entire thing, make sure you click the link below. Head on over to odds.com, check it out, and let's make that cash. All right, moving along. Alex Morono taking on Reese McKee. And this one's got me scratching my head. This one has got me scratching my head. Alex Morono, the great white. I love this kid. I, this is one of those fighters. You know what? It's weird. I've got this strange love and attachment for, for underdogs that are flawed fighters. John Gosling, my friend, you got it. Shout out. Thank you very much for tuning in from Kentucky. I, uh, <laughs> Michael, I don't think that's what the people want. I don't think that's what the people want. I took my shirt off one time and about broke the internet. Um, I, I've got this weird weakness for fighters that are, they've got potential. They've got that killer instinct, that finishing ability. Alex Morono, Nico Price, you know, those guys that have that borderline death touch but they just can't quite get it all together. I love those guys. I don't know why. I, I have a weakness for them. And Alex Morono, is, it fits perfectly in that category. He comes out of Fortis MMA. He's a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, and he is all offense. This guy is never in a boring fight. Always comes forward. He swings big, big hooks. He varies up his striking very well, though. Lots of different kicks that you can uh, use inside, outside leg kicks, kicks to the body. And he's always hunting for the KO. One thing I think is important is that he's been working with the boys over at Fortis getting ready for their fights lately. There have been a lot of Fortis MMA fighters working to get in the cage recently. So he's been in training camp with all those guys. Like recently, he was just helping out Trevin Giles, who looked the best he has ever looked on Saturday. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reese McKee coming off uh, some dude. Kamzat, no idea what he's <laughs> what he's about. Thank you very much, my friend. I appreciate you for that. So I like I like Morono. I really like Morono. But Reese McKee, this kid's no joke. Reese McKee, like uh, like our friend said, came in against Kamzat Shamaya, but that doesn't mean that he's a bum. He was brought in to be the debutante against Kamzat, but there's actually a lot of uh, there's some rumblings about Reese McKee out there. Everybody actually is relatively high on this kid from what we've seen on the regional scene. Since he's moved up to 170 from 155, it seemed to do him wonders. And he uh, he has fought a level of competition that's a little bit questionable. Kid's got a pretty sick ground game. He's a BJJ purple belt, so he's going to be outgunned in that spot here. He does fight at range extremely well, and he's going to have an enormous six-inch reach advantage in this fight. That's the key that really concerns me here. He's got a long jab, a stiff jab. He uses that thing excellently, and he has really heavy hands. Reese McKee has a 100% finish rate. All 10 of his, his wins have come by finish. The fact that he opened up here as the underdog is getting him a little bit of love. And like I said, I'm really not sure what to make of this fight because my heart has me jumping at Alex Morono, but the line is definitely holding me back here. Minus 185. Now, Morono is coming off of a really, really bad knockout. A fighter that we're going to talk about a little bit later on the card. Chaos Williams made his short notice UFC debut and destroyed Morono in about 30 seconds. Not a fun night. I had Mar uh, Morono in a parlay. Totally, totally undershot Chaos Williams. But he was on a three-fight win streak prior to that. Kenan Song, Zach Otto, and Max Griffin. So not bad. And then he's taken on this kid, Reese McKee, but he's going to be at a physical disadvantage, height and reach. And then, like I said, we've seen him get KO'd twice. He's coming off of a bad KO. And Reese McKee fights extremely well at distance. Ah, And that you know what? Only bet the plus nails it. As much as I love Morono, he doesn't make the best decisions. And he's a fighter that whenever I want to bet on somebody, I got to know they're going to follow the game script, right? We don't know what the coach's game plan is. We don't know what the fighter's game plan is. And Brahimaj is a perfect example of that from this past week. Everybody thought Brahimaj was going to come out and grapple. Everybody. That's what he does. He's a submission specialist. He's a wrestling guy. He didn't shoot a single takedown. He got his ass kicked on the feet by Max Griffin. He got that veteran lesson. And this week, this is kind of that spot. You've got this kid, Reese McKee. You're like, wow, you know, Morono's a black belt. Maybe he can take him down and work him on the floor. Morono's probably going to stand and strike with him. Probably. Just telling you the truth, he probably will. So 
This is a pass for me. This is a classic fireball and popcorn spot, if you will. Get your favorite drink, do a shot, get a snack. Just sit back and relax. This one's going to be a banger. These guys are going to go out there. Alex Morono is never in a boring fight. And Reese McKee is looking to change the minds of everybody who saw him get his ass kicked by Kamzat Shemaev. He's coming out for blood. So this is going to be low-key a contender for fight of the night. And I got to tell you, Dana White's got his work cut out for him this weekend because there's a lot of fight of the night contenders on this card. But this is definitely one of them. I think uh, later on in the week, as always, some of you may know, I do a show called Total Madness. We break the fights down again we talk about the unders the overs do we think the fight's going to go the distance and break it down from that perspective rather than actually picking a side or a winner this is potentially an under spot this is a spot we may want to look at maybe just going ahead and taking the under because these guys are getting after it i don't know if we've got a total yet let me find it here again and i'll check it out we got yeah see they got the total set at two and a half and it's plus 130 to the under folks Oh, baby. This fight is plus 130 to the under. Hello. That might be a bet. That might be a bet. Reese McKee has a 100% finish rate. He's outgunned on the bottom. Black belt versus purple belt. Both these guys like to strike. Morono's gotten his chin clipped. Reese McKee's got bombs for hands. Under two and a half at plus money might be the move.